That was insane. Great game plan there, getting ourselves knocked out and captured. Hey, that's brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Don't rub it in. Every situation has a way out. We'll just have to use plan B. Or C. When you said to aim at the pipe, did you have a plan B or was getting captured plan B? Have a plan <laughs> G, like get the hell out of here. I mean, you've evolved a thousand years, and, and, and guess what? We're still captured. Huh? Brilliant. <sighs> Give it a rest. Oh, I got plenty of time to rest. Because we're captured! Hey, Kai. <laughs> come on, help me out here. Seth and uh, Jansen really don't like each other, huh? Anyways, what you want to do here is... Um, there's a little secret you can get. Not really vital, but... Oh, actually, no. You come here first and it initiates another memory. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, so what we do here, you can talk to Jansen. Scared? What do you mean? Are you afraid? <laughs> afraid? <laughs> yeah, I am. Of course I'd be afraid in a situation like this. And I tell you what, I'd be lying if I wasn't saying that I was scared of you as well. I'm afraid too. You're kidding. Uh-oh. I am General Kakanis, a majesty. The queen has bestowed upon me the honor of commanding all Numara's forces. Okay, so he's ruler of an army called Numara, okay? I speak with her majesty's voice, and you shall answer my questions. The hell with that? Go ahead, ask away. I have no geography question. What were you doing at Grand Staff? You are Uren spies, aren't you? Uh, sort of. We're, uh... Just ordinary travelers. Yeah, right. Yeah, travelers. That what we are. Yeah, I'm the husband. Uh, over there is my wife. And uh, Mr. Chuckles there in the middle. He's my buddy. <laughs> yeah, uh, we were just surprised, you know, to see a building that huge. Well, on our trip. All right. Do you think I'm a fool? That's Grand Staff, Aura's giant magic engine. And we are already aware that there is a link between that thing and the recent media crash. Yeah. What I want to know is yeah, exactly nothing. what caused it to happen. I suppose none of you know anything. You're not spying for Aura, are you? Or maybe Goatsa, huh? Hmm? Goza. I'm telling you, we're just travelers. Why do you lie to him? Just tell him the truth. We're working for Ura. Come on, we're not spies. We don't know what happened. Come on, let us out of here. Ah, since when do ordinary travelers display such masterful fighting skill? See, that's what it, that's what have been my giveaway too. We're simply travelers. Yeah, right. have a great deal of skill in loosening obstinate tongue. I guess uh, he's gone now. General. What is it? 
As we thought, our current equipment won't be enough to repair the white boa. White boa. The damage caused by the electrical discharge is too great. According to the tech officer, we'll have to bring it back to Numara and dock it for full repairs. Ah. From what the tech officer says, there's nothing that can be done about it. We'll suspend the operation and return to Numara. Yes, sir. Wait, what's our figurehead doing now? Her Majesty, sir? She's in her quarters. We've been hearing harp music from there for a while now. The harp queen? music? In a place like this? A figurehead? What what's that? Still a little a little confusing. Um you'll understand more as we go, but uh basically what we got so far is all we we're working for Ura. We went to Grand Staff, now there's this other army that came in and they saw that we were trespassing or whatever, I don't know. And they captured us, and that's pretty much all that's really happened in the game so far. How very refined. Well, if she loves music more than meddling, it makes things easier for me. Right, and of course we also know about uh, Gangor a little bit. He seems to be a character that's up to no good. Um, and there's a King Tolton, so it's, it's still a little vague. Um... We'll definitely understand more and more as the game progresses. It just takes a little while to, to understand everything. Yes, sir. Time to prepare for departure. Inform the troops immediately. Yes, sir. What the hell? Figurehead? They can't be talking about the queen like that. <laughs> what's got you so angry? That general's making a fool out of the queen. Hey, what's this? I speak with her majesty's voice. Crap. And it makes me sick. <laughs> You're worried about the Queen? Aren't streetwalkers more your type? Ooh, witty! No, Namara's what bothers me. Hey, what the hell kind of country is it? Sounds like a seafood dish. Hey, and you over there, are you somehow involved with Namara? No, I'm not sure. I'm sure. What? The glowing white monument in the sky. Do you remember it? It feels like my memory is returning, bit by bit. Yours should be too. Why are there? Why can't they remember anything? Good That's dreams. the biggest puzzle. When you were talking so bitterly a while ago, was it about the dreams? Oh, so the dreams scare you. Yeah. My memories seem to flood my dreams. Are they just dreams? Or are they my past? Mm. Okay, now we're in control of Kaim, and what you gotta do here is, you gotta ram it. You gotta be kidding me, if there's a way out of this, then tell me what to do already. What you gotta do is switch to Jansen, okay? You'll notice there's like a... Okay. Okay, then you switch to Seth. Okay, and then Seth can kick it over to Kaim. And now Kaim can pick it up. The hell is it? There it is. And we get a light lens. Now this is more for the... Um, you're, you're supposed to get that more for the achievement. Of getting all the items, however, oh boy, you can't even access my equipment. Shit, I can't even look at it. But um, I just figured, what the hell, might as well get it while it's here anyway. So that's all we can do. We can't really do anything else. Now all we have to do here is just run around and wait until the auto scene initiates, because we're supposed to get out of here automatically. Nothing we can really do. So just run around in circles until that happens. Huh? Hmm. 
this happening to me? You know, I could have just not woken up this morning. I'm not only afraid of heights, I'm claustrophobic. And we're going to get this beautiful sequence here. Scenery, I should say. It looks like we were on a giant boat. Look at that. She looks pretty. Look at that. Woo! And now we all wake up here in this wherever the hell we are. Everyone seems to be knocked out cold, and Kaim is still living these vivid dreams. And now we know the name of the girl that he keeps dreaming about, Lyrum. But we still don't know much more. Like you just had a nightmare. Who's uh, Lyrum? Must be some girl's name, huh? I don't know. Just that it's it's very painful. Every time I have that dream. I guess you really are remembering bits and pieces, huh? You look like you don't want to remember. But it seems like the memories are starting to surface anyway. Well, there's no point in remembering them, is there? I swear, Kaim, you are such a pessimist. You know, a normal person would do anything to figure out who they were or where they'd been. Maybe I want to cut myself off from the past. You see, it's just oh, like I said. You just drop it? <laughs> he can take his time and remember the past when he's ready. Can't you see? It's obvious that right now all it's doing is hurting him. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, ma'am. What is her problem? Her, her and Jansen did not get along. If Kaim hates his memories, I guess I might not even have to use this. Listen, if either Kaim or Seth seem like they're starting to regain even a fragment of their memories, use this. What is it? Let's just say it's a magic energy crystal. Just throw it at them. That's all you have to do, and their memories will grow muddled and sink back into darkness. If it comes down to that, I'll triple your pay. Wow. Let me think about that. Okay. Hmm. What's that? This? I got it from Lord Gangora. 
Oh, okay. Way to be blunt. It's, you know, what you might call being prepared. It's dangerous, isn't it? Well, yeah. Well, see for yourself. You use it like this. And now we're in control of Jansen here. There's nothing here that we can do other than talk to the guard. Or throw it at the guard. Uh-oh. Uh, is he dead? Excuse me? Huh? <laughs> what am I doing here? Amnesiac soldier. What's with him? Has he forgotten his job? He's temporarily lost his memory. Whoa. It works. That pearl must be a magic energy crystal. <sighs> Gungora. So that's it. He said to use it in a pinch, and that guy was pinching. Pretty impressive how accurate their mouth movements are with the words. I've noticed that. What's going on? Stop using my cat phrase. You, sir, are a soldier. Act like one. Huh? Okay. But how come? Listen, we're just ordinary travelers, but remember? There was this misunderstanding. Yeah, and we got thrown in the slammer. I hate to ask, but I have a hair appointment. But don't I need permission? You know, to release you guys? Well, that's what you came here to do, right? You came here to let us falsely accuse prisoners. Those are your words, not mine. Out of the brig. It's obvious. There was a mistake, you see? <laughs> come on. Let's go. I distinctly wow. heard your boss tell you to come down and let us out. Hey, congratulations on the promotion, by the way. What? Oh, that's right. You slipped and hit your head. Yeah, it looks like you've forgotten your duty. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. How embarrassing. Look, see that doohickey there? Yeah, it's probably plugged into a magic engine. I don't know. Maybe it will open the door. I love how uh, Jansen's talking to the guard like he's a little child. It's freaking great. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that looks right. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm sorry you had to tell me how to do my job. Okay, almost got it. There you go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I wish I had one of those tools. Hang in there, soldier. So long, buddy. Oh, okay. Farewell. Take care. Take care. Goodbye. Wow. That worked. What do you mean? It worked. Thanks for the help. Seriously, you could charm the skin off a snake with that kind of tongue. <laughs> it still bothers me why Gungora would give you something like that pearl. But I should thank you. Just this once. Right, Kaim? Yeah. Hmm. Syme, Kaim, and Seth. Tis, tis, tisk. Alright, folks. So... Let's real quick look at that accessory we got. Ah, oh, we still can't look at it. <laughs> oh, well. So, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned next time for more Let's Play Lost Odyssey. Peace out.